Hey everybody, what's up and welcome back to Bravo Basson. Well, originally I shot this intro to this video out on the lake and um, shot the exit to this video out on the lake and I managed to delete all my forward GoPro footage. Um, I was editing and moving stuff from one folder to the other, thought I had transferred it all over to the folder and went ahead and deleted the old folder and it turns out that um, it didn't transfer over and I had already emptied it out of my recycle bin as well so it's all lost um, yeah that's the second time I've done that and it's very very frustrating because I had some really cool pics on there as well and uh, some good footage so I was a little bummed about that but I still have the chesty footage so I wanted to go ahead and still make this video so um, I'm out fishing today um, <laughs> going out to, to one of my favorite bodies of water I'm gonna be out there on the lake doing some fishing and uh, Here's the video. All right, guys, I'm gonna fire out the bat, top water bat. Um, if you guys have been following me, you know that I've already caught fish on this thing. And it's just kind of crazy. And I'm just curious, more than anything, if I might pull one in here, find some of these shallow spots where some of these bass might be still staging up, pitch it around. See if we might find a fish. Hey guys, we're gonna chuck the Z-Man Slim Swim right here at this log. Um, this is in the deal color. Let's see if we can find a fish. And not the log that I'm already snagged on. How do you ruin a spot? That's how you ruin it, right there. That was kind of a bummer right off the bat to get snagged right here because this is usually produces me a fish or two. Now we got it all disturbed, but we're going to just fish down the line anyway and see what happens. Alright guys, we're going to throw a swim bait. This is a, um, God, I forget what they call this thing. Anyway. Um, this pile tail swim bait. Scrounger. It's a scrounger head, sorry. The white Z-Man on the back of it. I'm just gonna roll that around. Work some bank action. See if we can find some fish. I'm gonna try to move, cover a lot of water today. All right, guys, I threw on a Strike King spinner bait, silver and gold blades, Kitek trailer, cartridge and white. Mark some fish. I see fish jumping. I have to switch my top water out to like a whopper popper or something. Get more visible here. Or a popper, popper or something. I haven't decided yet. Got one. That's crappie. Good way to start the day. I'll take you, bud. Nice little 
happy to start the day. Got the skunk out of the boot. All right, guys. Nice little white crappie. We're gonna get him back in the water. See you, bud. Ooh, there you go. Well, we got the skunk out of the boot. So that's a good start for the day. Nice little little crappie to start my morning off. I'll take it. This little spot that I'm sitting in, I ran over a bunch of fish, so I want to fish it. Well guys, one little crappie to show for my day so far. Guys, I tied on a white chatter bait. We're just gonna chatter us along, see if we can find some fish. All right, guys, I had a, a bump on my chatter bait, but I'm gonna go back to what I know in this body of water. Look at just like that. Look at where's the fish. Nope, there we go. There's a bass right there. Nothing big. Little squirt. Just a little squirt. Alright guys, my little squirt bass. Nothing big, but it's a start. Definitely a start. Well guys. Struggle bus day. I'll throw this little crankbait around a little bit and then if I don't get anything on it, I'm gonna switch to something else. I don't know what, I'm gonna do some changing. Well guys, I am working my way back out of this creek now. Caught one little dink bass, that's it. Seeing fish jump. It's not getting any fish. We are on the struggle bus. Struggle bus. Oh, I got one. Oh, this is a good one too. Oh wow, this is a good fish. I don't think. Oh, this is a this is a donkey. Oh my god, this is a big fish. This is a real big fish, guys. This is a big fish. Big big fish. Big bass. Big bass. Big bass. Big bass. Need my net. Definitely need my net. Please tell me my, my freaking, oh my god, look at this bass. Look at this bass, guys. Do you guys see this thing? Come on, guy. Come on. Come back to the neck. Come on, where you at? Right here. Right there. There you go. Holy cow. Guys, wait till you see this bass. Oh, man. This thing is huge. Huge. <laughs> oh, man the size of this thing that oh it's big it's big it's a donkey we got a donkey I need a drink of water after that but you guys see this look at that that's a toad Look at the size of that, guys. Huge fish. Huge fish. Needs to eat some, but that is a big fish. We are going to try to get some measurements on this bad boy. 
God. That is a complete and utter monster. Look at that. Hopefully you guys can see that. Yep, 2.72 on my Connectsdale. Yeah, that's awesome. All right, I'm take that guy all day long. Woohoo! All right, guys, let's get one more, one more good look at this beautiful fish. Look at that. Look at this, guys. Look at that. That is just awesome. Awesome, 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 beautiful fish. Can't complain. Let's get him back in the water. All right, bud. And there he goes. Look at that. <laughs> All right. Whew. All right, guys. I caught that big mongo on this little bitty Z-Man Slim Swim. And I can't say enough about these baits that you will catch big fish on these. You'll catch little ones too, but by golly, you will catch some big fish. So uh, I'm gonna retie because he frayed my line up a little bit. And then uh, we're gonna see if we can find another one and, and miss it. Got him. Oh, I got a nice bass. All right. That's what we needed right there. Oh, come back here. Come back here. Come back here. Get off on that. Get off. Oh, you want know boat flipping? <laughs> Whew. All right. Shoo. The net is all tangled up in there. All right, guys, check that out. Inline spinner, nice little bass. All right, he's hooked in there. We need some pliers. All right, guys, super nice little bass. He's bleeding a little bit. We're going to get him back in the water. See you, bud. And he's off. All right. There you go, guys. So um, using a little inline spinner, this is a Panther Martin. It's got a little red and yellow on the back end of it. And bam, we got some nice little bass out of that, that deal. So, uh. I want to see if I might find one more. I think they're following those crappy right here. Been letting it drop down about the count of five and slow rolling it back. I kept getting bumped. Wasn't sure what was bumping me. But uh, seeing a couple fish chasing it. And, and there was one chasing it right there. So it just goes to show you these little inline spinners can come in handy. Um, they're great little baits. Just slow rolling that thing. And caught a nice little bass. Casting out here in the open. Alright everybody, I am back and that is the video. Um, that was my day on the water. Crazy day. Um, I usually do a lot better at that body of water. Um, I only caught four fish. I mean, the wind picked up. It was really crazy. I was marking tons of fish on my fish finder. I mean, I was seeing fish everywhere. I threw all kinds of different baits at them. I threw chatter baits, spinner baits, a um, little bit of Ned Rig stuff, um, different types of swim baits, um, threw a bandito bug, um, just a bunch of different stuff, crankbait. Um, and the only thing that, two things I got bit on was a little inline spinner, which was a... Um, had a little yellow and red um, skirt on it, little um, skirt on it that was really cool, and um, that got me the one bass and the slim swim in the pearl color. Um, Z Man Slim Swim, man. I'm gonna all I can say about that bait is that is one of the best go to baits you could ever have in your box. If you guys want a go to bait that's gonna catch you fish and will catch you big fish, obviously, because I caught a really big three pounder on, on it, um, the Z Man Slim Swim, and if you can only get two colors of it. Get the deal color and the pearl white. 
the deal color for really clear water and, and semi dirty water and then the pearl white for dirty water like today was dirty I started off with the deal color but I just didn't think it was showing up that well so I switched to the pearl white color and I caught some fish on it so um, those two baits throughout the year have just done phenomenally well for me um, all year long and um, just a great great bait now I do have some other colors that I have picked up and I have a few more colors that I'm gonna get because I just love that bait and I think certain 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 circumstances will justify those colors and I'm just experimenting with things because the other color on um, the the bad shad color is a really good color as well I've been fishing that as well but um yeah that's a great bait but as you guys saw I ended up catching a really nice three pound bass on the Z-Man Slim Swim in the pearl white color and that bass was in like a foot and a half or two foot of water which was crazy and I honestly thought I was snagged on the log for a second I was like oh up, oh, up, oh. and then I realized it started moving and I had a fish and I was like wow I got a bass and then I realized it, it was a big bass and I was like oh wow I got a big bass um, long and skinny <coughs> would think he'd have a little bit fatter belly. He was kind of long and skinny, but he's really nice. He looked really good and healthy other than he was a little skinnier than I thought he would. He was just long and skinny, but hopefully he's going to fatten up. He didn't get to be three pounds because he's not eating. So, uh, and there's plenty of, of forage in that, in that body of water. So, yeah, um, but a tough day. Um, we have those days, but I will say, you know, catching four fish is better than catching no fish and catching a nice big three pounder even if that was the only fish I caught all day I would be happy with the day because I caught a nice big fish so zero complaints other you know than the wind the wind can be tough and the wind I don't mind a little bit of wind but when the wind picks up and starts whipping like it is just blowing you all over the place and even when you're casting heavy baits and you throw your line out and it goes and you watch the, you watch the big bait go hook into the right yeah it's a little windy um but uh yeah um and always check out those inline spinners. I mean, MEPS makes really good spinners. Um, there's a rooster tail that makes them. Um, and then uh, Panther Martin. That's what I was throwing. That was a Panther Martin. And, um, yeah, they just um, can be a great go-to bait, great search bait. If you don't want to throw a big spinner bait, but you're looking for a spinner type bait to throw, those inline spinners that MEPS makes and rooster tails makes and, and the other companies make, I mean, they just come out really, really really decent little baits that you will catch fish on as you saw you know I mean I ended up picking up one of those thrown around and I honestly would I wish I would have picked up that last one instead of throwing the MEPS I wish I would have picked up the Panther Martin um, because that one was getting a lot of little bites there at the end and I think I might have caught a few more fish that have been throwing the Pan Panther Martin so I'm going to try that next time but um, I just wanted to throw something different but I also was throwing a spinner bait as well and a chatter bait as well I mean, I had six rods on my boat, and I'm chucking everything under the sun to try to catch fish, and I managed to get four. So um, we have those days. Um, sometimes it's a struggle out on the water, and then sometimes you just have epic, epic days out there. So um, the biggest thing I can tell you guys is never give up, never stop trying. And when you get on a bite and you start getting fish to eat a certain bait, stay with that bait until they quit biting it. You know, and then when they quit biting it, switch to something else. And if you're not getting bites, then switch up. I usually fish a, a lure about 15, 20 minutes, and then I pick up something else and start throwing it. And I keep doing that until I find something that they're eating. And then once I find something they're eating, I'll start throwing that. And sometimes it's weird because I have days where I'll catch a fish on this bait and then that bait and then another bait, and there's really no pattern going on. And then other days, I'll start catching them on one bait, and that's the only thing they're eating. Like, I've had days where I'm just... I caught them all on a fluke, on a white fluke. I mean, just hammered them on a white fluke. They're not hitting nothing else, but they're hitting that fluke. I don't it, you know what it is. It must be the way the bait moves, the way it looks. Something about that ends up being very appealing to them, and they hammer it. But I will say that the Z-Man Slim Swims have done so well for me. They've done great for largemouth, great for smallmouth. I've crushed some monster crappie on them as well. And um, it's a good, solid bait for um, finesse fishing, for really heavily pressured bodies of water. It works really good. And um, just an all-around great bait. I mean, I've caught everything from big bass to big smallmouth to big monster bluegills to big monster crappie on that bait. And um, I have zero complaints about it. So um, if you guys have not tried them out, you really should try them out. Um, they're just a really great bait. And the other thing is, is... When you hook into a big bass on a finesse rig like that, on a, on a medium fast rod like I was fishing, no fun way to catch a fish. I mean, they just start ripping off drag, and you have to play the fish. You can't horse it in, and it's just a really great way to have an experience of catching a really big bass. So, um, yeah, ended up being a cool day. That fish made my day. It was awesome. Made my video. I got caught a big bass. He crushed my slim swim, um, hence the name of the video. Um, I probably have a couple other videos that are similar in that because this Slim Slim works. But, um, yeah, 
um, ended up not being such a bad day. So yeah, that's all I got for you guys. Um, the other thing I want to say is, um, if you guys are interested in checking out Monster Bass, um, like my shirt says Monster Bass, I have a link down below in my channel. And that link, if you guys want to go check out Monster Bass, click on that link and utilize that link. And that'll take you to the Monster Bass site. But by going using my link that's linked on my channel, when you guys go to Monster Bass, if you end up ordering a description, ordering a box, or ordering baits, or t-shirts, or whatever you guys order from them, um, I get a few bucks. And uh, it helps out the channel. And so, you know, I'd really appreciate it. You know, all you guys that are doing that, if you guys are getting hooked up with Monster Bass, please use my link down below. That helps me out. allows me to, to make more videos and pay for all the stuff I have to pay for to go out and make videos and pay for this camera gear and, and all the baits that I got to fish and, and all the stuff I do. And it just helps support the channel. So I'd really appreciate that as well. But with that being said, um, that's all I got for you guys. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you enjoyed the catch of the big bass that I caught there. And, um... Yeah, just do me a favor, hit that like button, that subscribe button, that ding dong button, all those things you got to do for YouTube, and then just do yourself a favor, get out there, get your lines wet, and catch some fish.